I'm going to show you how to use Replay Video Capture 7's new Invisible Mode, which means that you can run the program from a thumb or flash drive so that its presence will be invisible to the PC you're using it on. This is particularly handy if you're traveling and you're using someone else's PC and you need to record something, or if you work for a place that won't allow you to load software onto your work computer. Accessing Invisible Mode is super simple. All you got to do is go down here to this little question mark in the lower right hand corner of the user interface and click on it. And you'll see here it says Enable Thumb Drive Invisible Mode, so I'm going to click on that. It brings up this window and it says plug your external thumb drive into a USB port and click Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I just plugged my thumb drive into the iDrive of my PC laptop, so I'm going to go ahead and click Drives. It brings up a list of all my drives, and here's I. And then I just need to click install, and it's actually showing me, first of all, the progress of the installation, and then that it's creating this replay video capture folder on my thumb drive. So, and the instructions here say that replay video capture installs a folder called replay video capture, which it did, and that there will be a shortcut called replay video shortcut on the root of the drive, so I'll see that. And then to run the program, you just plug the thumb drive into any Windows computer USB and double click on the shortcut. So there's my shortcut. So it's all done. So it says installation successful. So I just click close. I now see that I have the folder, replay video capture, an apply in folder on here, and then replay video shortcut. So I'm going to go plug this into another PC and show you what I find. I have plugged the USB into a PC. I'm going to click on Replay Video Shortcut. It's going to run it. Running from a thumb drive, it tells me. And then I will open up a browser window and I'll just try Netflix. So I click Get Video, just like I do when I'm running it on my desktop. Costa Rica? Yeah. And then one of the things that I see is that I don't want to be recording this window. So I'm going to go to Settings, Tools, and I want to make sure that I can minimize replay video capture when it's recording. So I'm going to click Close, Close, and then I click Record. And then when I click Start Recording, it'll now minimize Replay Video Capture so I'm not recording the user interface. Once I finish recording, I click Stop. And then to find my recording, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click View. And it's telling me these are my saved recordings. And it is on the, it's in the RVC recordings folder on my thumb drive. So if I play the file, whatever the default FLV player is for that PC will be what will come up when you click play. But the important thing to know here is everything is being saved on the thumb drive. The program's on the thumb drive and all your recordings. So when you eject the thumb drive from that PC, there is no trace that you were using the program on the PC. So again, it's great if you're using someone else's computer when you're traveling or if you work for a place that doesn't allow you to add software. Really just another wonderful way that Replay Video Capture makes it super convenient for you to screen capture all sorts of streams from movie sites like Netflix and TV sites like Hulu to live chat sites, to sporting events, to webinars. So enjoy checking it out.